Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, welcome back if you've been here before. Today I'm going to do a Zara haul, shock horror. I know, I do know how to shop at other shops, believe me, but um, I know I've just been really loving what they've got in at the minute and I have been ordering stuff incessantly. So I just thought it'd be more realistic to actually show you what I've been ordering rather than thinking I'm not going to do another Zara haul because I just did one. So this is actually what I'm buying, actually what I'm ordering, actually what I'm loving. So before we start, I just need to get one crucial thing. Mm, let me know your favourite tea below. I am a Twinings everyday English breakfast. Everyday tea. Everyday and English breakfast are different, aren't they? I think I like the everyday ones, not the English breakfast ones. Let's have a look. So the first thing is, um, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but I'll uh, write it here. Um, and I did a little styling video on there the other day of some organza tops, which I picked up from Zara. So I'm going to show you them first. I literally saw one top and then I thought I love this and I love the vibe of the organza. I've just seen so many pretty pictures on Instagram recently with just the see-through sleeves. I think it's just such a small touch to add to a top which makes it really pretty and going out and special um, without actually being that well out there. I saw one organza sleeve top and then I saw another one and then I saw another one and they were just like all going in my basket. So yeah, if you check out my Instagram and uh, find the styling video um, or you know, I'm gonna try them on in here and talk but that's like a really fast going through the tops then. This is the first one that I picked up it is a stretchy fabric in the body and it has a zip at the side i like that it's um stretchy fabric but honestly when i try it on for you you'll see that like when you're in this position like it it's so hard to get this zip to come down like i can't even barely like and to get over that bump there it's quite difficult to do up but the sleeves are beautiful they've got this polka dot effect and it just looks so nice on with just a pair of jeans um so yeah i feel like that could make a daytime outfit really just a bit something extra and also just wanted to say that i thought all these things were so reasonable um which is why i'm gonna end up keeping everything in this parcel um, but this one was a $25.99, which is quite reasonable for Zara. So, here is the organza top number one. As you can see, I couldn't even get the zip to do it there. And I know you think it's probably just because I'm fat, but you can pull it together because it's stretchy. It's just like getting that and doing that is just, it's just literally impossible. But I do love it. So I'm not sure. Really like the cuffs here, how it kind of goes darker at the end. Really pretty. I don't know if this is a bit extra as well, but it does look really nice. Next up we have this one, which is a black one. This one I really like, because it's literally just a ribbed basic round neck top with organza sleeves and ribbed cuffs. You could really wear this as like just an everyday basic and have something a bit special on. Can you tell I've tried them all on already? Should have sorted them out first. Um, and this one, I've actually already taken the tag off, but I'm pretty sure it was $19.99, maybe even $17.99. And I think it came in another colour as well. So that one I'm definitely keeping, as you can tell, already taken the tags off. This one is probably one of my favourites just for how basic it is and wearable but just with a little pizzazz here. Um, so yeah, I think it's really chic, really simple. Again, would look really nice with like a leather skirt for a Christmas party or something. Um, but you'd still be quite warm and comfortable. Um, so yeah, that's a definite keeper for me. Then we have this one. It's probably my least favourite um in the video that i did i really liked it but again it's really hard to do these zips up when you're wearing it and they're like uh, 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 like you can't hold it together and pull it down when it's there so yeah this one is really nice i really like the big spotty style i really like the cuffs 
I actually prefer it if this wasn't sewn in so I could have the choice to put a little top on underneath or a bra instead or something because honestly it just doesn't line up like where it's attached here um, it looks awkward like this seam goes here and then that's just a bit there and it just all doesn't match up if you ask me I just feel like it looks like you put a top on underneath and you haven't bothered to straighten it up it is beautiful um, and it is $25.99 as well I would advise for this one to maybe size up a little um, <laughs> just so that you've got that room to maneuver and do that up but aside from that like it's really pretty but do you know what I mean about the straps here like oh, they just look like they just don't it's just all sitting wrong you know so yeah I had to get someone if you've got someone that will always help you then you're winning this one's I think a no from me I love and I have actually worn out already this one is a bodysuit and it has the most gorgeous organza sleeves again like the one the other one that I loved it's just such a fun thing to wear day to day a basic you know you could just get away with it so easily and casually look at those sleeves so nice it is a 100% yes look at these sleeves they are beautiful they are extra again with a black leather skirt I'm just really feeling like all these organza tops would just look so nice with a black leather skirt and some boots for winter even like those chunky little flat boots like you could go all out in the top with these sleeves I mean some people are going to be like that's not all out it's a basic black thing but for me this is quite all out and then just I would do a black leather skirt and then really tanned legs and a cute boot like that to kind of make it a bit more edgy yes this is a keeper I also think you could wear it like off shoulder like that which is also really cute and that kind of bunches these up a bit more so it's not so extra yeah love I feel like this is a good time as well to also show you these jeans you can see them really clearly with this body um, these are the high waisted mum style jeans as you can see they're totally fitted at the top sometimes they can be a bit baggy I think they fit really well and for the price just 100% yes so the next thing that I got was some basic jumpers um, I just saw them and I thought they looked really nice on the model really slinky and I just thought these are the kinds of things that I'll have in my wardrobe for the next five years if they last that long so I got this one in grey I've worn a lot and it's been on my bedroom floor so this is why it's a bit creased but it's just a really thin slinky roll neck jumper and I just think they look so nice on tucked in which I will show you in the try on so let me just show you this I think it looks really nice like kind of to the side like a bit slouchy with hair down some necklaces pulled out Maybe a longer necklace, to be honest, than I've got on. Maybe just roll the sleeves up. A little Gucci belt. Simple, casual, cool. Love that. Very my everyday vibe. Yeah, I really like these tops. I think they're such a good basic to have. And I also got that one in the black. I think the black can look a bit chicer. I'm thinking this would look really nice with like a leather skirt and tucked in if you wanted to dress up but also be like, it's fucking freezing outside and um, I'm not a slutter. These are 15 99 How good is that? Both of them definitely keeping. It's the same but it's black. <laughs> Again, chic 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 i'm living for that word right now i also just love like a black top with blue mum jeans like don't overdo it girls keep it simple and chic get some nice accessories put some chunky boots on or some chunky trainers or like a gucci style mule love it 
when I said meal, I definitely meant loafer. Nothing too extra. Maybe my Gucci belt here. Definitely a look. Also, I got this. I just saw it on the model. I actually think I got the whole outfit that I saw on the model of this because I was just like, this is my new chic vibe. It's just a white shirt. <laughs> I'll show you that on and I'll show you it how it was worn on the model to show you why I got it. This pair of jeans, um, they're a mum jean. I've heard great things about Zara jeans. I've not got on with them that well in the past, but I've tried these on. They fit great. Um, I actually got a size 8, which I don't normally do in jeans. And someone actually messaged me on Instagram and said, those jeans you're wearing on the website, it says to size up twice. Um, so I would definitely say don't size up twice because I didn't but then I don't know maybe I put the wrong link in to a different pair of jeans These ones which will have the right link in are just a gorgeous mum jean really nice raw edge and um, they are high waisted I've worn these several times they're a bit stiff when you first put them on because they are a thick good quality denim they were £25 so I was like, it's worth a go. Because I can never find jeans that are high-waisted enough. And look at that. That is a good waist size. So yes, I'm really into those ones. And another thing that the model was wearing was this jacket. So cool. Real leather. Sorry if that offends vegans and people. Um... It's an 80s vintage vibe, like a bomber jacket. And it just looks so cool. I love the way these shoulders fit. it. I'll try and do the old insert picture from my Instagram of when I've already taken a photo of it. Um, but yeah, this was £159, but it is leather. So if you love it, it's gonna last you your whole life. I think I wanted to do like a little tuck on one side kind of thing leave the sleeves flapping cool minimal chic like honestly if you want to play a drinking game just drink every time i say chic um also with these boots really cool to like edge it up a bit and i'm going to try the jacket on and i feel like it's not going to look nice because the white and the white and the black but this is the outfit that inspired me to start shopping on Zara. I just saw this and thought, oh, that is cool. Just like clean, white shirt, cool vintage vibes jacket. This kind of thing, it's a look. I mean, I'm not pulling off that well right now. <laughs> but yeah, this is the vibe that I was going for. This jacket I think is so cool. all the details I've seen these all over instagram and just thought cute 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 i'll insert a picture here of me wearing it so i'm not going to do this in the trial on i already know i'm going to keep it I've taken the tags off it but yeah look at the picture doesn't it look cute so yeah i also did style it in that video that i talked about on my instagram so if you want to see it you're gonna have to go follow me there okay next up another pair of jeans i bought quite a lot of pairs of jeans um these were the price has gone but i don't think anything was over 30 pounds apart from the jacket these are those really cool like washed jeans that kind of go straight down and then they've got this slit here to go over your shoe. I'll again insert a picture because probably not gonna try these ones off because they're just so cool. I love the kind of distressed hem on them too, like they've been worn a bit. Love it. Then I got a pair of basic black skinnies. I've got some recently from, I think they're Matalan from a collaboration that I did. Um, and they're super good black skinny jeans. They're just perfect, but they're black as the night. And you know, sometimes when you've got black boots on, black uh, jeans on, it kind of all blends into one. And sometimes I don't like that, but I just wanted a bit more of a black skinny jean that looked like it had been washed a few times so that you could differentiate between a black top and black jeans and boots. So he's didn't look like one big cat suit. Super nice and high-waisted and they're really stretchy. Great purchase, one more ready about eight times. 
last but not least, not le last but not least, which I forgot to put here, because again, I've been wearing them, was these boots. So I saw, oh God, I saw these on the website and they reminded me of the Prada boots, the monolith boots that everybody is wearing at the minute. And basically, I'm just not sure about the Prada ones. Um, I kind of want to say that they're an investment for my job and get them. But I just thought I'll try these out first. And they've got quite a lot of boots that are more like the monolith ones um, on the Zara website. But they're all like £90. And I was thinking, I'm not going to pay £90 to get a pair of boots to trial out to see if I want to pay £650. So I got the £30 one. I'm really happy with them. Also, I know other people not mentioning names um, that have bought other dupes and said they're really uncomfortable, but these are so comfortable. And yeah, I like the shiny toe bit and the kind of stretchy neoprene body part to them. And yeah, I'm going to insert a picture here of when I've worn them. And yeah, I really like them. They're really comfy. And I just love how they look with like skinny jeans and an oversized jumper. And I also love the look of them, which I haven't done yet, but with a mini skirt or something like that. I just think it looks so cool. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really think this trend is a total man repeller. Like, my boyfriends can think they're vile. Um, but who cares that's what i say so i also got this pair of jeans which is another pair with the slit on the side these ones are the slit on the opposite side and these ones are um a skinny version and a high-waisted version so as i said i wasn't happy that the other ones were low-waisted but make do so i did order these as well um but when they're tight to your leg these skinny ones, they just don't sit right. I really feel like these jeans have to kind of go fall straight to the floor and like sit straight and slot over your shoe. Like if they sit to your leg, they kind of go like at the end. But these do look like a gorgeous like flare fit. Um, I'm not like the happiest with my body right now to want to wear like a super tight flare that accentuates my whole figure and then goes like that. But if you look like a supermodel, these are for you. So thank you for watching again. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you want me to do any specific calls from anywhere else. Please tell me what your favourite parts were because I'm still yet to decide which bits to keep and which bits to go back. But this whole order cost me about £500. So as much as I'd love to keep it all, probably shouldn't. I also quickly wanted to tell you, in case you were wondering, that this jumper I am wearing is from Cezanne. I have lived in it since I've got it. I think it's such a gorgeous um, staple. The colour is so easy to wear. And I am wearing some jeans that are again like a mum jean from Dorothy Perkins and I will link this outfit below too and everything else you've seen so I'm gonna try and do my hauls way more regularly so please subscribe and do yes do let me know what you want to see from me on YouTube and also it would mean the absolute world if you could come over to Instagram and follow me and drop into my DMs because I love chatting to you guys and I'm on there way more than I'm on here. So yes, please do that. Please subscribe. I'm like two subscribers away from a thousand, which to me has been like the hardest slog ever. But thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll be back soon and have a nice day.